from the desk of Dr. G. We have a new science curriculum in the district that we're pretty excited about, but here's a quote from the founder of Mystery Science. <clears throat> you can't teach something that a person doesn't care to learn. With some incredible fourth grade scientists at Greenwood. Many, many of you may have heard. <laughs> many, many, I can't even talk. The question that they're gonna lean into with this experiment is like, why do rocks look different at the top of a mountain than at the bottom of the mountain. Instead of just telling you about it, we thought we would show you some of the things, uh, some of the reasons why our kiddos are so excited about mystery science. So how does mystery science help kids care to learn? One of the, the tenets of mystery science of our new curriculum is it, it keeps the curiosity in science it through questions. They get it through finding stuff out. So I have Brooke, I have Nevea, I have Tanvishri, I have Jordan, and then myself, I guess. What are we gonna try to figure out? What happened to the rocks when they fall down a mountain in a landslide? Let's, let's do it. Take it away, kids. We're gonna start with coloring it. Okay. So, Brooke, what colors are we gonna do? Um, we'll do a blue and yellow. Why is it a... Okay. Let's take four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you color the two or are we doing all of them? I don't know, just two. Okay, good. I don't know why we're gonna shake it. So, simulating like it falling down the mountain, and then smoothing it out. So we're gonna do like maybe 20 shakes okay. like for you. Tip, make machine. sure you close this properly or you're gonna have some sad sure mistakes at the end. Thank you. Now open it up. Mm, okay, anyway. Um, like these are like the colors. These are just cute. Really? Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. And what your partner is going to do is yeah. like Tom Vichery yep. will take the two color cubes yep. and shake it next. Yeah. Okay, okay. And just examine. So, like, even if there's like a little grain that still has yeah. blue on it, that still counts as like all yeah, that's of the same. Okay. Oopsies. Okay. Oopsies. <laughs> Where is it? There we go. Right there. Oh, okay. That's still. Got it, got it. Okay, so um, put it back in and. So can you hold that out? Yeah. So what does that Big. mean if they still have color? That means like it's not fully like in a ball. Because if you shake it enough times, it turns into a little sugar ball. That's oh. Um, if you there's another thing on this one that if you just close it up the camera, yeah. you can I guess see that um that little speck still does count. Okay. That's yeah. like when everybody in our class was like, it's me that yeah you. Will. And then, Let me do that reveal thing again. Okay, so one side, I don't know if I don't know if it has a little bit color. I think like there's like a blue spot. What? If there is color, what does that mean? As it falls down, it like the experiment is all about just like what it looks like after it falls down from the land side. Got yeah. it. And we would get in trouble if we actually, if you're like ate the sugar cubes, it would just like yeah. Please don't eat the sugar. Thank you. That's marker. Okay. Also, <laughs> now tell no, me sure you show me the other one. Because that's like the, one of the best parts of being in a school is seeing the conversation and the collaboration and the, and the work and the, uh, even the, like the mini failures and then how kids respond to those together.